Hey friends, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you may be able to discern from my appearance, this is a very impromptu video, but it is Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, it's almost one o'clock, and I have gotten the urge to redo my bookshelves. <laughs> I have this giant built-in right here. You can see my computer. So I have this giant built-in right here, and then I also have a Billy bookshelf right next to my desk here. And I have been craving kind of a reorganization, and I was sitting here today and I was like staring at them, and I was like, you know what? I think today would be a good day to redo my entire bookshelves. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought I would take you along. I'm not gonna do like a full-on bookshelf tour because one, I personally don't like watching bookshelf tours. I find them tedious and boring. And two, I don't I don't want to film a bookshelf tour of every book that I own. It's it doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> so we're not doing that. But I thought I would go over how I organize my shelves and the categories and things like that. So I am going to spin you around and walk you through my shelves and then talk about what I'm kind of thinking to move things around. All right, so this is the Billy bookshelf. Up at the top, I just have a couple of random things. This used to be a rainbow shelf that I had, but I unhauled almost everything from that shelf. So right now it's essentially empty. This is some Nalini Singh and then a couple of Amanda Boucher's. This is my Sarah J Mass shelf. I have a shelf that is mostly JLA and then a little bit of KJ Sutton. I have some more paranormal romances and then I have a too deep historical romance shelf. So that is what is on here. On this side, I have some nonfiction up at the top. I have these three Sarah Dessen books that I've had since I was like in high school and I don't want to ever get rid of those. I have some graphic novels, The Heartstopper, Laura Olympus, and then this copper copy of Mooncakes. These are my husband's comics on both of those shelves and these are some extra bookends that I have. So that's what's on here. Down at the bottom, sorry, I have my fan on. So down at the bottom, we have some leather-bound Barnes & Noble editions, as well as some little mass markets and some of my husband's books. Down here are some classics, as well as my husband's fantasy books, so the Witcher series and then some Star Wars books. And that kind of continues up at the top. So these are all of his Star Wars books on these shelves, as well as this little tin of bookmarks. But these are all of my husband's Star Wars books. And those are, that's pretty much it for his books. Then I have see, some sci-fi books and some adult fantasy. This is YA fantasy into like more YA realistic fantasy, I guess. So this is like stuff that's set in the real world. And these are things that are not so much. Here I have some more real world fantasy, some adult fantasy, as well as some like um, Katie Robert books and some TJ Klune books. So it kind of like gets into more like fantasy romance there. And then down here is my romances. So that is an empty shelf. My book charm bookmarks are right there. And then I have two romance shelves. This is my like favorite mysteries and then some more romance. And then down at the bottom, I have horror right here. I have my thrillers that I've read or like at least authors I've read. I think the only book down here that I haven't read is The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor and Riley Sager's Survive the Night, but I've read all of those. I have some contemporary into historical. I have some mysteries down here that I haven't read. And then hidden like behind the table here, I have a bottom shelf that is just some like Christmassy romances down there. And then right here is just a couple of middle grade books that I have. 
and I am considering unhauling a couple of these. I've never read the Nevermore series, and I don't think I will, but I do love these ones. Like, I love the Dead Voices and the City of Ghosts series, so I might unhaul these, but then I just have some, like, random stuff that I need to get rid of. So that's what we're working with. That's, oh, and then I have all my book sleeves and stuff, and then a whole ton <laughs> of Novel Wix candles scattered throughout. That's what we're working with right now. I just really want to get this cleaned up and organized. It drives me nuts that this like mystery shelf is in the middle of all these romances and as you can see I'm like running out of room so I need, need to make room for more romances. So I think I am going to most likely move like these mysteries down here and then move the stuff that I haven't read over like on this side and I might move some of these paranormal romances over here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is to get rid of some of these fantasy things and some of the stuff down at the bottom and move them over to the side because this is where I film. So I kind of want this to be more indicative of what I read. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going to take you along for the process of redoing my shelves. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real.
this town Dark as beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no Nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive When I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no Nothing can break me Hello. So it is the next day. I got new glasses and I think they're really cute. But it is the next day and I have finally finished my bookshelves. I got like 99% of the way there yesterday. But then after talking to my husband, I decided to shift a couple more things around. And then by the time that I had finished, the lighting kind of sucked in here. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna wait until tomorrow. It is a beautiful sunny day. So I'm gonna walk you through all of my shelves. They are not, I'm really, really happy with the built-in with my Billy bookshelf. I'm not 100% happy with it, but for now it's gonna stay how it is. But I'm really happy with my built-ins since that is my background for all of my videos or the majority of my videos. It's not right now, but for all of my sit-down videos, that's my background. And I really like that you can see all of like my romances and stuff. So I'm going to take you through everything and kind of give you a quick little tour of my shelves and then we will finish out this video. Start with the bully bookshelf but this is how my standalone bookshelf looks. Like I said I'm not totally happy with like I really don't like this shelf at all but like these two probably are my least favorite but I just don't know what to do with them right now so for now it's gonna stay but up at the top I just have a couple of series so I have my Shadow and Bone series I have Warbreaker which is the only Sanderson book that I have and have liked I have the Cinder whatever that's called series and then I have the Graceling series which I've only read Graceling but I do I do own all of those Next is my sci-fi shelf, and as you can see, I don't have much sci-fi, but I absolutely love Ready Player One, and even though I haven't read Ready Player Two, I'm absolutely obsessed with that copy. I showed it in one of the clips. The same thing with Clara and the Sun. I haven't read Clara and the Sun yet, but that edition is stunning, and I do love Never Let Me Go, so I have that shelf right there. This is kind of just a random collection of fantasy books. It kind of goes from YA to adult on this side, but it's just like a random section. I've read some of these. I haven't read some of these. So it's just kind of an assortment of different fantasy books. This is my favorite mysteries. So we have the Veronica Speedwell series, The Lesson in Vengeance. I only gave like four stars, but that edition is stunning. And then um, I have the Truly Devious, the Study in Charlotte series, and then the Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and then the Mary Shelley Club. I have read everything on this shelf, and it makes me really happy seeing it all together. And this is some more mysteries and thrillers. I just don't like how this shelf looks, but for now it's just going to kind of stay. I have some just like fan or mysteries. I have my Agatha Christie's. And then some YA thrillers, again, an assortment of things I have and haven't read. And then down here is some historical fiction, which I don't own much of. And then just a couple of like contemporaries. I'm just throwing all of those together. And then at the bottom is still my historical romances, which is super full. And I probably need to move these, but I didn't want to move them right now. So for now, they... They stay right there, but that's what this shelf looks like. Like I said, I'm just really, I don't like how these two look, but for now, for now it's going to stay. And then over on this side of the built-in, this is like the skinny side and then down here below the window. And the way that I ended up doing this is everything from here over is my husband's. So up at the top, we have some nonfiction. There are a couple of like 
these are my non-fictions, but for the majority, my husband is the non-fiction reader. And then we have two empty shelves because his comics are getting pretty full. So this is his comic section. He has like his Critical Role, The Adventure Zone, and then all of the avatars. And then down here is Star Wars and some Marvel stuff over on the side. And then this shelf here is literally his entire Star Wars collection which makes me really happy. <laughs> and then some of his fantasy books, and then some more of the, um, what's it called? The Witcher series, and then his, a couple of his, um, George R. R. Martin. He lent a couple of them out, and he never got them back. But yeah, so this is his whole section now, which I really like, and he has room to grow. And then this side of the built-in is mine. So I own a lot more books than him, so that's why I have the bigger side. But up at the top is some YA series, and I've read everything on the shelf. And I left a little bit of room to grow because there is going to be another book in the Fable series, and there's another book in the Beautiful series yet. So this one is kind of like my favorites of like realistic fantasy maybe. So my Shea Earnshaw collection, McClare Legrand, some YA fantasy, Addie LaRue, and then some more stuff off to the side. On that top one is some fantasy books. Again, I've read just about everything up there except for Wild and Wicked Things. Right beneath that is my Nalini Nalini Singh shelf and there's a couple of Amanda Boucher's behind there but that is actually double stacked so the Guild Hunter series is in the front and the Psy Changeling series is in the back and then I have Archangel's Light facing forward because that's that's my favorite book of the series. This is some more adult fantasy romance so I have the Fortuna series, I have all of my Scarlet St. Clair, all of that and then this is some YA fantasy and these are just some of like my favorites which is why I kept these over here. Right beneath that is my JLA into Sarah J Mass. So I own like these are all completed. I need to get the rest of this series and then I have the From Blood and Ash series so that's all of my JLA books. And then I have the Crescent City series by Jared Ma Sarah J. Mass with this beautiful Novel Wicks candle. I'm obsessed with this one. And then it continues on into this Sarah J. Mass shelf. So I have the entire Throne of Glass into the Court of Mist and Fury. I'm really excited to get a paperback copy of A Court of Silver Flames so that it matches. And then all of these like really old. Um, Wick and Fable candles. I showed this, but some of these are really, really faded, which makes me so sad. Like, you can see how discolored it is. It's tragic, but it is what it is. And then I ripped some paint off right here, so I need to touch that up. But that is my Sarah J. Mass shelf. And then right underneath that is an empty shelf for right now because my contemporary romances are off to the left here and they need room to grow. So right now this is just like a holding spot. I have my book charm bookmarks here which I do like how they're stored but I'll probably have to move it and then I have this tin that just has all of my other bookmarks and then just some random stuff like this is a sticker I got and that is an art print from Novel Wicks along with the candle which I'm obsessed with that candle. And then over here are my contemporary romances. This is kind of like my favorites shelf. So I have like a whole bunch of like queer romances, my Tessa Bailey, and then like a bunch of favorites. And then I have this candle which came in a box, I think for one last stop, as well as this one. This is one of my favorite candles because it has like a little pat of butter in it. I think it's so cute. So. I have those here and then over to this side is some more of my contemporaries into kind of like paranormal-ish. So I have all of my witchy books here and then my shifter, TJ Klune, and then some um, historical fantasy. This is a fake succulent because I can't keep plants alive. So there's that along with my which is Novel Wicks Candle by my witchy books. 
Down here is some more contemporary. Um, Dear Emmy Blue is one of my favorite contemporaries ever. So I have that. And then I have my book sleeve collection from Happy Go Lovely and Ardent Admirations. And then this stunning down the rabbit hole candle from Novel Wicks, which that's one of my faves. And then over here is my like dark into indie pubbed contemporary romances. So this is just a fake plant that I have. I have my whole Katie Robert collection into some dark romances. I have the Unhinged, the Necessary Evils series, a bunch of Lexi Ryan, some Mariana Zapata, Candy Steiner, Evie Mitchell. And then down here is the stuff that like I don't normally pick up because it's next to my chair and it's really hard to get to. So these are some like children's and middle grade books. So I have those. And then down at the bottom is a bunch of like classics and some random stuff of my husband's that just like we never pick up. So it's just kind of like shoved back there. Um, here I have my Heartstopper and Laura Olympus. Originally, I was going to keep these over to the side, but I have the really beautiful um, Illumicrate Laura Olympus, and Illumicrate has announced that they're going to do the rest of the series. So I am going to buy the rest of this series, and I want to be able to display them. So I have that down here so that I can display them. And then right beneath that is my horror section. I don't own a ton of horror, but when I read it, it tends to be five stars. So I have I have my collection right there. And then this is the little bit of thrillers that I have. These are my favorite thrillers or my favorite authors. And then I have a completely empty shelf right above it. So that is what the build-ins are. And worst case scenario, like if, like I said, I have these two empty shelves here, but like these two could easily go in the closet. I do have a closet over here and I have some empty shelves. Like these are, look at my book sleeve collection. How ridiculous is that? So there's all my seasonal ones. And then I have a giant basket here of more. Oh my God. But like I moved my seasonal books into here and then I just have like some random books and stuff in here. So like we could... We could make room in here for even more books if we wanted to. And I have like this and some more stuff. These are, this is where my unhaul goes. This is my unhaul pile. I just like shove them in here until I have enough to start filling up boxes. So, so for right now, that's how my shelves look. I really love how they turned out. They look, they look really pretty and I feel like they're more indicative of my reading tastes. So when I, when I'm filming, you can see all of my beautiful romance books and stuff in the background. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next time. Bye.